Welcome to this prayer time. My name is Saz. It's a time of reflection and a time of meditation during the season of Advent. So let's start. In the name of God, who has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, we welcome you, grace to you and peace. We're going to sing a carol called O oh, Laugh and Light. Now we'll sing along. You're more than welcome to meditate or just listen to the lyrics. O oh, Laugh and Light, O oh, firstborn of creation, radiant of glory. Light from light, God self revealing, holy, bright and blessed, ye shine upon us. So we're going to have a meditation from John Milton. The Lord will come and not be slow, his footsteps cannot err. Before him righteousness shall go, his glory hard to binger. Truth from the earth like to a flower, shall bud and blossom then, and justice from her heavenly bow, look down on mortal men, surely to such as do him fear, salvation is at hand, and glory shall ere long appear to dwell within our land. Rise God, judge through the earth in might, this wicked earth distressed, for thou art he who shall by right the nations all possess, the nations all whom thou hast made shall come and all shall frame to bow them low before thee and glorify your name for great thou art and wonders great by the strong hand are done thou in five everlasting seats remain god alone and the scripture from isaiah 40 verse 9 to 11 you who bring good news to Zion, go up on a high mountain. You who bring good news to Jerusalem, lift up your voice with a shout. Lift it up. Do not be afraid. Say to the Tower of Judah, here is your God. See, the sovereign Lord comes with power and he rules with a mighty arm. See, his reward is with him, and his recompense accompanies him. He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that have young. Thanks be to God. And let's pray. As we prepare ourselves for the time when Christ comes again in glory, we pray for the grace and honesty to see what needs transforming in our lives as individuals. O oh, come, let us walk in the lights of God. May all church leaders, teachers, be directed, inspired and upheld by the living spirit of God and may there be a deepening of love and commitment of all Christians around the world. O come, let us walk in the light of God. May the leaders of this nation and all of all nations be drawn increasingly to understand God's way of justice and righteousness. 
and be filled with the longing to do what is right and honest and good. O oh, come, let us walk in the light of God. May all the families on earth be blessed with mutual love and care and consideration one of another. May arguments and misunderstandings be properly resolved and difficult relationships refreshed and healed. O oh God, O oh come, let us walk in the light of God. May those for whom the days and nights creep past in pain or sorrow be given comfort and hope. May the frightened find reassurance and the anxious find peace of mind. O oh come, let us walk in the light of God. May those who have reached the point of death be given the knowledge of God's closeness on that last journey. And may those who have died know eternal peace and joy of heaven. O oh God, we thank you for this time. O oh come, let us walk in the light of God. May we all be given a new enthusiasm for walking God's way, clothed in the armour of light. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen.